Hey there, we're on our way to VindaliaCon. Be right back. Okay, I'm Travis Sivart with Simpleton Series, and you're going to have an extended video here of our trip to VindaliaCon. We left at, got up at 4 in the morning, left by 5 in the morning, and we're about three hours away now. We're very excited to see Brett and Shelly, who run the joint, and all the awesome people there. Great community, and it all goes towards breast cancer research. So, stick with us, and we're going to continue adding to this video, and by the end of the weekend, have a nice long video with all kinds of awesome folks. Okay, let's get on the road and see what else we can find. There we go. There we are. Okay, and I've arrived at Vendelia Con. I ran from, across Brett Dusick, aka Mr. Cat, who, uh, what do you do? I'm head of security for the event, and I'm uh, one of the co-organizers for the event. Very so. good. <laughs> so he does everything, is what it bottoms out at. So, let's see, and we're, we're going to make most of this video about community, because that's one great thing about this con, no. is the diverse community that you have involved. And also, now I keep talking about the cause. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, I, the whole point of this event is to raise money for the women in West Virginia to help fight breast and cervical cancer. Our primary charity is the Bonnie's Bus, which is a mobile mammography unit that travels all over West Virginia, and no woman over 40 is turned away, no matter her ability to pay. Gotcha. Um, so it's there for everybody in West Virginia. And because of our efforts here and uh, in the past, we were able to put a new 3D mammography unit in Bonnie's bus, and it's getting the chassis to support that new unit. And so that's, uh -huh. unfortunately, it won't be here this weekend like it has been in the past, because the new bus won't be ready to roll out until the first week of June. Now, where's the huge inflatable colon? Um, I don't know that that made it this year. Oh, no. I was telling <laughs> um, everybody about it. No, it was at the health fair last year, but um, this year instead, like the big focus on the health fair this year is... Um, Hold on one we've second. Got, um, we, we've got another guest. Oh, yes. Hey, Tara, come photobomb. <laughs> you don't got to talk. Just stand behind and make faces. I got candy in my mouth. Okay, oh, okay. go on. Uh, but no, we, uh, okay. this year... You scoot that way. Scoot this Tara, way? get behind us. Okay. There we go. <laughs> No, this year um, the big focus is we had a, a Mountains of Hope meeting mm -hmm. as instead of the, the big pink block party we'd done in the past, gotcha. we had a Mountains of Hope meeting. And Mountains of Hope is the Cancer Coalition for West Virginia. It is the, uh, basically it is the public cancer group that decides, like set, helps set the policy for the state and what our, our cancer prevention is, is uh, focused on uh, for cool. the state. And then um, the other thing we're doing this year as a big element is the, uh, we're showing the Someone You Love movie in the ballroom here in probably about 20 minutes. Any so, second now, yeah. yeah. Um, and I will say, if you've not seen it, uh, take tissues. Gotcha. Um, it is a very emotional, emotional ride. <laughs> well, let's go check that out and All see right. who else we can find. <laughs> so, speaking of community, I'm here with Tara Moeller, who is part of my personal community. We, like, invented a card game and wrote some stuff and now we're making mailing lists. And yes! We had... <laughs> well, you are. I'm trying. <laughs> Well, we have a contest going this weekend, so we'll be at the same table and panels most of the weekend. Mm -hmm. And the contest is who can sell most books, which you might win just because I don't have a big inventory. Neither do I. Okay, we're good. <laughs> the other thing is we're going to have a contest to see who can get the most people on their mailing list, and we yes. have to determine what the prizes are. I don't know. Bourbon? And it could be bourbon or the chocolates that we got as the gift bag. No, those chocolates are mine. I'll yeah. buy you bourbon. Well, we could, you could do the bourbon, I could do the chocolates. That would work for me. Okay, we'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> okay, and we got Professor Bubblemaker here, who I've seen here two years in a row. How many years have you been here? I've been here since the start, since okay, four, four years, years now. Yeah. So, you have made bubble making an art. Would you say that? Yes. So what's the most basic bubble making advice you would give amateurs at home that would just wish they could make a bubble? Um, just have a lot of fun with it. And mm -hmm. There isn't really a right or wrong at all. It's just going out and having fun and getting creative. So if they have absolutely money, no money, can't even go to the dollar store, what's the dish soap to water ratio? It's uh, about nine, nine parts water to one part so not a lot of soap. soap and then what can they use for a wand 
and uh, for wand you can use anything from your hands to if if you uh, get your hands soapy even in just dish soap that you're washing dishes with and just put your hands together like that you'll form a little bit of a film in between mm -hmm. your hands and you can blow bubbles and I watched it. him do this in his ballet the other night so bubble ballet that was cool thank you so other than that, I saw sticks and strings how hard is that for an amateur to do it's not hard it's taken a lot of, uh, of fine-tuning for me to find just the right materials and, okay and uh, I'm always testing new materials and new bubble mixes to try to do better uh, but really you you can go from just a basic anything that makes a shape you know complete mm -hmm. shape you can blow bubbles with it to years of experimenting which is just it's fun because yeah you know, I, I go out and entertain you know entire families and everybody enjoys bubbles from the little kids all the way up to the grandparents and uh, it, it becomes kind of infectious and you just start keep on going very cool so why do you come back to Vandalia Con? I come back to Vandalia Con because it's a great bunch of people and I get to do uh, some things I teach a, a kids science workshop that lets me kind of inspire you know the next generation of, of scientists and inventors and and it's just it's just a lot a lot of fun coming out here and, and I just noticed you, you've got the gander snitch pin also up there yes oh, on this side there. there oh there it is see that Shh. let's go see who else we can find it and I'm here with Stephen of Nubs cosplay to talk about it so that's actually a pretty cool Doctor Strange steampunk outfit there so, and the mohawk goes surprisingly well, well with it. It does. It does okay with it, yeah. <laughs> Gives a little, little flair. It does. So how's your weekend? Here, we, I gotta scoot closer. Hey, yeah. how you doing? Get real close. So, yeah, we're, hi. Look at this it's pretty blue. blue. Yeah, uh, my peacock bow tie. <laughs> but enough about me. So how's the weekend going for you, man? The weekend has been wonderful. Mm. Uh, this convention, as always, is an amazing uh, convention with the community, the people. Uh, everyone's super friendly, super open. Everybody's different. Everybody's mm -hmm. unique. Uh, of course, everybody's here for a great cause um, to help with the uh, Vandalia Con's main cause. Absolutely. Um, it's fantastic. Very good. Now, before we go anywhere, check that out. Now make it move for us. <laughs> there we go. How cool is that? And every outfit has something like that. So check him out on Nubs with a Z and U B Z cosplay on Facebook. And, obvious uh, reasons. Yeah, uh, obviously reasons. There we go. Okay, let's go see who else we can find. Okay, and I'm here with Shelly Dusick. Dusick? Dusick. I, I do get that right, okay? Yes. Okay. Like a little knife. Is there a knife called Dusick? There is a knife called a Dusick. I don't knife enough people. I do. <laughs> She's a very nice knife to all of us. <laughs> So, I mean, and she runs the joint. So, if you want to talk about community and somebody that draws people in, here we go with this. So, how, how do you feel you attract people? Usually it starts off with, hey, I got a crazy idea. What are you going to do? <laughs> That's a good approach. <laughs> Works in bars, too. <laughs> Strangely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, basically, I just, I just go to folks and say, hey, we're going to do this thing. It sounds like a lot of fun. You want to do it? And a lot of times people say, yeah. So... Who else would you like to see here? Oh my gosh, um, it, that's a hard question. Uh, <laughs> I, I first of all, more people. Just uh, mm -hmm. getting people out here and in, in, in the so everybody, everybody. I want to yeah. see everybody. Very good. Oh, well, that guy. That guy. <laughs> okay, let's see who else we can find. Okay, and I ran into the crew of Steam or the Specters of the Knox Mill. Very good. And what's everybody's name? My name's Liz Rischel. I'm Sean Lenhart. Huh? William Strom. Jordan Speranzo. Wow, they are, they, they're good together, aren't they? <laughs> we are practiced. So how'd the weekend go? It went really well. We had a wonderful show on Friday. That's for you right there. Oh, of course. It's always <laughs> for me. The divas. We, had a, we performed uh, sections out of our opera, Rock. Which I saw was very nice. It was a beautiful night for it, wasn't it? It was gorgeous. It was really fun. We had a great time. A great crowd who really it liked was. The, some of the songs that they that they liked the most. I was really I was kind of surprised about. No, you never know. I heard you mention you're also doing a television show. It's it's going to be a uh, YouTube stream very cool. show and episodes. No, a live stream or a web series. A web series. Okay. 
So we are actually um, filming it, planning mm -hmm. to film it as you know, a project, and we're looking for people who can be extras who have really innovative Victorian style See, costumes. That's community. You show up at Con and go, who wants to make this? <laughs> so where, where can people find more about you and the project that you need some people for? Well, our website, steamtheopera.com, but there is also, we have a Facebook page and Twitter, uh, Steam Opera, Steam, or the Specters of the Knox Mill. So they can find all that on the website though, right? Right, they should Which be website, able to find links. website, one more time? Steamtheopera.com. There we go. Thanks, guys. I'll see you again next year. Yeah, hopefully. Okay. okay, hold on. Check it out. Check out the bubbles. They, and they got another one. They're like buckets of bubbles. Buckets of bubbles. And hey, there's a spigot. There's a spigot. Okay, it, and, and we're here with Robert Turk. Hello! Who knows Gander Snitch Goblin? Yes. Yeah, yes. I know Gander like, Snitch Goblin. Like, intimately. Intimately, yes. We have, we have shared clothing. And they fact. are the loudest photo bombers ever. <laughs> like the jingliest photo bombers ever. So, as Gandersnitch, you have the, this line you walk between adult and the children's world of entertainment. Yes. So, you have a unique opportunity to yes. blend them or separate them. Or separate them as need be. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, I like that one. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's hard to do it backwards. It is. It? So, so, what do you do? How do you do? What's. How's that work? Um, well, I, I call myself an immersive, adaptable mm -hmm. character performer. I perform for the audience that's in front of me. Gotcha. So if it's kids, I'm going to perform for kids. If it's adults, I'm going to perform for adults. Let me back up. If it's kids and adults, I'm going to perform for kids. Gotcha. And the, and the adults are entertained because I'm entertaining their children. If there are no kids around, none at all, and there's no possibility of them popping out at any moment, then I'll entertain the adults. Gotcha. But you are also bringing together the fairy world in steampunk and renaissance fairs yes. and sci-fi conventions Absolutely. all together. All together. There's a lot of crossover between all of these conventions, mm -hmm. all of these fandoms. So who's and your favorite? Who's my favorite? Who's well, it's favorite? it's uh, me. I'm Good my answer. favorite. That's yeah, I'm yeah. Okay I'm uh, self-love. Um, yeah. Um, Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, but I did, I did get you something. You got um, me something. Yeah, it's a, it's a beat up Ford F one hundred and fifty. It's a brand new crap car. Yeah, yeah. No, um, no. So uh, yeah, yeah, you don't want that. Um, uh, yeah, actually, the, you have the petitioners. I have Gandersnitch, <laughs> Gandersnitch the Goblin, little tiny lapel pens here for you for for Gandersnitch's secret society and fan club. There's actually there used to be an oath that went with accepting uh -huh. this pen, um, but I forgot it. So there, there is a secret handshake and all of that. Uh, essentially, it, it goes against your message of inclusivity and community uh, because it says well, that's that. That's Gandersnitch. Yeah, you got to stick. It, you got to stick it to the fairies, basically. So, let me ask you this: Yeah, would you or Gandersnitch be interested in being part of a Wizarding World steampunk airship called Airship Lollipop with the Dread Captain Cuddles? See, it was going good until you got cuddles. So much for Cuddles, yeah. Right? <laughs> so, cuddling a goblin. Let's see who else we can find while we talk now. him into being on the airship. Yeah, no, airships.